Even in the days when they were first designing tanks, they realized that steering was going to be a problem and was affected by the width to length ratio. Basically, the more length of track in contact with the ground you had, the harder it was to steer. Well, they thought about this, and you see on a lot of the British World War I tanks in particular, that there is a very short contact length in the ground. So what we're looking at here is a uh, Mark IV male. Uh, as it happens, this is a, a combat veteran still in its original World War I paint. But if you have a look at it, you see that the road wheels, there's about 24 of them, but only six or seven are in contact with the ground. So your track contact length is only about this far on each uh, side. Makes it very easy to steer. Now, of course, the point of the track is to spread the weight. So because you have this very gentle curve, the softer the ground, the further the vehicle is going to sink into it, which increases the track contact length, which decreases the ground pressure. So eventually, you could have all the way from the back to most of the way to the front in contact with the soft mud or whatever it is that you're trying to traverse. So, of course, later on, we came up with better steering systems, more powerful steering systems, but that was your original solution.